All right, you guys, we're gonna be trying out these new products from Sephora and Sephora, and I have the Makeup by Mario Soft Scub Transforming Skin Enhancer, and also have one of the new Pat McGrath Divine Blush Duos. I have two of her other blushes. Um, they're sitting up here. I love them. I've done videos on them on my channel if you want to check those out. But I wanted to try out this new blush duo because there's supposed to be two blushes in here. We're going to try that out. We're also going to try this out as well. So we're going to hop into this one first. And it comes in a nice little black box, 12-month lifespan. I've seen people using this. Um, it's been out for a little minute now. It's not like super duper new, but... I had this interest in it. I didn't know if I'm going to pick it up or not, though. But when I saw the Pat McGrath blush came out and it was on Sephora, I was like, let me go ahead and pick this up as well because I was interested in this. It seems like a very interesting product. So it's supposed to be like a all-in-one type of product where you can use it for different things. I've seen a lot of people enjoy it as like a bronzer or like an enhancer around the perimeter of the face, which is what I'm going to use it as today because I don't think I can pull this off as a foundation. Just um, looking at it is really a nice, interesting product. The texture seems... I don't know if that's because it's been out in the heat, but it doesn't seem exactly smooth in the pan. And that might just be because it was extremely hot when it was delivered. Here in Georgia, it is like been in like the 90s or 100s every day. But anyways, um, this product, I forgot how much it was. I think it was in the 30s and I have the shade medium dark. Um, so we're going to use it as a bronzer. And I'm going to use a sponge for this today. Um, I'm going to use like the sides here and we're going to just pop it on and see how it goes so I'm gonna start just how I would do bronzer in this area and then kind of go up all right you guys I hope you can notice how it did give a bit of warmth here and sculpting it almost is making the skin look very smooth in a sense um, and as you can see here in the pan I hope you can see how where I used it um, how the texture looks a bit more smoothing I think it was just kind of beat it up from the heat like I said outside and it looks really nice there I'm gonna put some and see how it looks on the forehead I always like to bronze a little bit in this area and the foundation I have on today is a tiny bit light for me so maybe this can warm up the outer perimeter and give me a little bit more warmth I'm sorry you guys if you can hear children screaming but yeah you guys see how it's kind of warming things up it also is kind of oh yeah I like the way it looks so far okay I'm gonna do the other side off camera. all right you guys next let's go into this beautiful blush from Pat McGrath look at this baby right here uh, the packaging is very similar to the other blushes from her so we see like the first round of blushes she did very similar packaging except for these are not duos they're just the one shade and then we have the new ones which are the duos i love the box it's like pink and purple and similar packaging um outer packaging for the blush shade on the back we have 18 months lifespan and we have the name of the shade this one is cosmic coral i thought this one was the nicest shade combination as well as like individual within it um it they are kind of obviously very close so the best thing I think will be to swirl it but um, you're supposed to be able to I guess use the colors individually or mix together so let's do a little bit of a swatch here so here's like the pink part the rose part and then we have the other part which is a little bit more muted and then let's do them swirled together as well and that's the mixed so really pretty shades let's apply it to guys skin let's try each shade individually and then we'll like mix them together so i'm gonna do um the pinky rosy shade here um on this side first so i have my refer 04 brush here we're gonna go into the rose imprint side first i'm gonna just it's very powdery so i'm gonna tap off a bit and let's just apply it right there on the upper part Blend it down. Oh, it's a very pretty shade on the skin. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me adjust the lights here. Really, really pretty. And then I'm gonna clean this off on the blush cleaner brush cleaner and let's
let's do the other side with the more what color is that i love that shade it's like a muted rose shade and we're gonna do this one over here i feel like it would be really hard to keep these separated so yeah so that's the other shade there a bit more subtle but still giving a lot of color to the cheek so we got the more pinky shade the more corally the more muted shade now let's do them mixed together so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kind of swirl it in and put it like right here bring it up a little bit and make the cheeks match so i'm going to swirl them together oh gosh there's a lot of blush okay let me kind of dab it off a little bit and then okay let me do that again on the other side okay very clownish now but that's okay because i love a blush i'll just powder it down over a little bit but just so you guys can see the color here oh that's pretty let's look up close to see the texture oh yeah very smoothing very pretty doesn't look patchy all right here we are with the cheeks powder just a little bit I really love the combination of this and this not this sorry this and this together I really like the combination of the two the cheeks are looking really pretty really like kind of got a bit of a glow to them nice color and I know some of these had different finishes I think for this one it's giving me pretty matte but kind of with a little bit of a um luminosity too but that's not like glittery or anything you know what i'm saying at least not that i can see here so there's no glitter or pick um like shimmery particles in this blush it's just really a nice smoothing formula very similar obviously to her other brush uh blushes so that's that i'm gonna finish the rest of my stuff off camera and i'll come back all right you guys here we are back with the final look i really do love the way the cheek products look the makeup by mario product i like the way it gave a very subtle kind of warmth and glow to the skin i also kind of smooth it out as well um it would definitely help to get the right color i think it gave me a good amount of depth to my skin but not too too much you know what i mean and then the blush i really love i think it's beautiful i really enjoyed the previous blushes from pat mcgrath that she came out with now these ones are pretty pricey so that's why i got the one to kind of just show the formula and whatnot as i'm trying to really spend a lot less on makeup this year doing pretty good so far but um yes i did want to try these out because i do love pat mcgrath one of my favorite brands and i really really like makeup by mario's brand as well i've liked all the products basically that i've tried from that brand um maybe not maybe the quad the quad was okay but um of eyeshadows but otherwise i really really love all the products i've tried from both brands so i was definitely excited to try the new products as well so hopefully you guys got a little bit out of this video and you see the final you know look here and how the products worked really well together as well i think they did fine um, i didn't even powder in between using them on top of each other kind of and they're not necessarily like right on top of each other but similar area as you can see and it looks really smooth nothing looks patchy nothing looks bad so i really would recommend both of these products just from this first impression yeah so that's gonna be it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel down below if you would like to and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video so yeah i'm going to be uh heading out now have a good day stay safe adios